going on guys? Welcome back. Episode 43 of my player. There is a ton of stuff to get through today, so we've got to jump right into it. We've got some big league games coming in the FA Cup 4th round home to West Ham as well, plus the remainder of the January window. So loads to get through. Let's crack straight on. Alright, just before our game against Aston Villa though, I have got four more skill points after reading level 37. So, I'm going to spend two on pens to max that one out. And I'm also going to increase my curve as well. Something I've really done at all, which to be fair, does help when finishing one-on-one. -on -one. So, yep, I'll pop... Okay, I popped one. I thought I had two. Okay, I popped one on there as well. Right, first game, tough one. Aston Villa away, where really we've got to win to have any chance of catching Man City. Already, I think, eight points clear of us at the top. So, yeah, failed to win this one, I think, already. The best we'll be able to do is fourth place. Well, top four, I should say. That's one, mate. Forward we go. Forward we go. Love that here. Oh, no, I wanted to feet. I wanted to feet, mate. It's okay. It's all right. Put the pressure on. Might force me to a mistake. Here we go. Finished that. Okay, well, I'll have it back, and now I'll get the assist. Oh, how'd you miss the target? Oh, mate. That, that's, oh, man. Oof. Frustrating first half. It's really frustrating. I've won. Good chance. Didn't take it. We might well pay for it here as well. Yeah, it's going to be one. Yep, in off the post. Oh, man. Two, two. Oh, that's a big save by Costa. That should have been two 0 down. Re oh, this is a terrible passage. Forget the Premier League. Let Man City have it. We ain't even gonna get close to him this year. So frustrating, man. I said last episode, if you want a real challenge, play player career mode. It is so, so hard. This is the oh man, this is the hardest save I've done in years and years and years. I've subbed myself off as well. I've, I've I've had enough of this one. Sim Sim isn't gonna save us, I really can't see that happening. <sighs> Got even worse. Oh man! How on earth are we supposed to beat Juventus? A team that knocked me out two straight years in the Champions League. How, how are we supposed to beat them? They won it last year. How are we gonna beat Man City as well? We've got Chelsea next, too. Can I do any more training? Oh, I can. Do I come off the bench in this one? I'm tempted to come off the bench here. Yeah, might as well. 11 points behind Man City now. We ain't going to catch them. Forget the Premier League. Half an hour to go. Coming on a goal down. Can I be the hero and turn it around? Probably not, but you never know. Now, this did work in the last episode against the Borough and earlier in the season away against Leeds as well. But here against Chelsea, tough opposition. One win in four, no points for a possible 12 in the Premier League. Yeah, no points from six, sorry. I'm, uh, I'm not feeling it. I'm not feeling confident. Oh, it's my guy. I just realised, Moyes. Anyone see that video of the Spurs fan uh, kicking Ramsdale after the North London derby? Ridiculous. I, I swear, like, fan um, acts of aggression have become much stronger and much more frequent in the past couple of years. I swear, since lockdown was lifted, we see that sort of stuff more and more. I don't know if it's just me, but I, I just seem to feel like this is happening. Like, fan disturbances more and more. I just feel, you know, we, we've seen so much more hostility, you know, towards players, towards staff members, both for the club or for the ground. It's... I, I don't know what, what's caused it, but yeah, I feel since lockdown, I just see it more and more now. That's going to be free. Keen for the hat trick. We used to do it together at Benfica. And now he's doing it against me. From friends to enemies. And we are about to hear some very loud boos at the final whistle. And the question the fans want answering, as do I, is Daniel, Antonio, where's the money? Where's all the money you got for those sales? Can I tell you what, it's not going on new signings. Embarrassing. We got anyone in? Anyone in? Nope, still on 19. I don't I don't think he'll make any more signings. I really don't. I think this will be our squad to the end of the season, which again is okay. It's alright, but it's not it's not enough. It's not enough. And right now you'll see Manchester City won again. They have gone 14 points clear. We are only in the top four on goal difference now. And when you talk about pressure, I'm feeling it now, and we need to respond to it. Awful run of form, following game, only winnable competition remaining, the FA Cup. Fourth round over to West Ham, 
lose this and I feel like sitting out the rest of the season. We'll just tank for Wemby. There's a mean expression on my face heading into this game. You would have seen it. I looked a little bit, uh, a little bit aggressive. So maybe I've got to play that way. Slide tackles from behind, maybe. Or, well, I'll tell you what, a lot of pressure to say the very least. Turn on the afterburners, Doxy boy. Oh, that's the start we wanted, though. With intensity. Yeah, what it, mate. Golden chance. Here. Oh, 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 oh. This guy caught it a target to save his life. Come on, boys. Come on. This is the start we need to get an early goal. And let's just keep our foot on the gas pedal. This is the, We can't afford to give West Ham the opener. Because when we, when we concede the first, that's when our heads drop, you know. West Ham have got a really good team at this point in the save. Max Kilman and John Stones are their centre-half duo. Declan Rice still there with the captain's armband. Timo Werner. Oh! It's a really good team. That's why I was nervous when the draw was made. Like, I'd say we're slightly better, but not by much. Not by much. I may have scored against Chelsea, but Chelsea came in vain. The goal here will be much more important. He still cut it back, and there it is! Oh, finally, it's the target, and look what happens when you do, mate. Spurs in front. Take your time, boys. Take your time. We've got to grind out a 1 0. We'll grind out a 1 0. I think Stan are going to the last 16, but. A late West Ham goal, and it's a replay, which is the last one we need. Oh, Kone, golden chance. Good ball. I'm in the middle, and that should be mine. Oh. Oh, he's played it short, the keeper. Pressure, keep pressuring, keep pressuring. Don't give up on this. There we go. And you've got to finish that. And you do, and it's game. And Spurs are keeping their trophy dreams alive. No goals, two assists, don't care one bit. Spurs are going through. Obviously, I still think we could do another signing to give us a better chance, but the, oh, great save. The key, I think, now is we're a week to go, is just make sure no one else goes, you know, because if Udogi goes, if Jed Spence goes, if Midi Tal goes, God forbid, we'll be in deep trouble. Our defense is bad enough as it is, but we've got a clean sheet in this one, and we got a victory. Set up both the goals, we're heading through to the last 16. Our trophy dreams remain alive for now, and you see what it means, boys. Come on! So, still on 19, and yeah, I, I, I think we probably will be between now and the end of the season as well. Our next game is West Ham again, this time away, and this time in the Premier League as well. Again, my big fear is Udogi and Spence, and oh, oh! <laughs> Right, okay. Alright, if I'm being honest here, I would have preferred a new centre half with an Afio still done for another three months, but okay. Alright, a bit more creativity. James Madison. Yep, okay, he can play on the wing, he can play through the middle. Okay, alright, well we'll, well, we'll we'll definitely take it, Gaffer. Yep, West Ham again, this time Premier League, this time away, right now, hanging on by a thread to a top four place. We know the title dreams are gone, but we've got to stay in the Champions League. Falling out, that would be a disaster. Awful first start, that. Absolutely nothing going on. And I know we got both our goals against them in the previous game in the second half, but we did actually have some attacks in the first half. We had no shots yet. Absolutely nothing. In fact, I don't think it's been a shot in the game. It's just been this all game long. It's been awful. Here we go, boys. Here we go. I'll have that feet, please. Thank you. Oh, that's a ball. you got to finish that. What are you doing? What? What? For what reason? Would anyone ever do that? Risk of subbing out. Gaffer, don't sub me out. Sub him out. Why on earth would anyone do that? This is this is where like this game mode really, really pisses me off. It's like brain dead. What? Like there is there is no justification for that. Absolutely none. Samuel and Geo don't do that. But thanks to the through ball, you've made up for it there. You've made up for it. I'll, I'll, I'll forgive you for that bit of idiocy for that brilliant first time layoff. 
Fair play. We know the title dreams are gone. Now it's all about keeping Spurs in the top four. We're going to have to close this game out here for our first win after three straight in the league. And to be fair, Semi. That's a great ball, to be fair. He's made up for it. And that's when you lay it off. And that shot's blocked. It's okay. Oh, he's onside there. Oh. Oh, is that still in play? Well, okay, that's uh, that's one of the weirdest goals we'll ever score, but we'll take it. A header assist, they're quite rare, but we'll have it. Nicely done, boys. Back-to-back 2-0 -back wins. I'm not going to say we're back on track. Can't predict anything with the Spurs team, but still, we'll have this. Big win this. My God, do we need it. Three straight losses in the Premier League. Five, the streak comes to an end. Just realised I'm 89 overall now. Yus. 21 goals, 16 assists in 24. Love to see it. Right, question is, with deadline day now here, is the gaffer going to bring anyone in? There's always a chance we might get out. Hang on, isn't he allowed? We had a Dortmund. Two hours in, no incomings or outgoings yet. But I think he's coming in, you know. Yep, he's just arrived. Is that the... I'm, I'm pretty sure that's the guy we had at Dortmund. I'm pretty sure that's him. Mm, I, I, honestly, I'll have to look through the footage. I can't remember. Maybe not. I, uh, maybe, maybe... I can't remember. It is! I just checked. It's the same guy. No way! We had him for a year at Dortmund, and uh, now he's returned in the save. To be fair, I did say I wanted a new centre-half, and I'm pleased with that one. That's probably one of the best we could have got. Young talent, only 20, what, 20 years old, still an exciting prospect. I'm very pleased with that one. Right, I think that's going to do it. Oh, it's not going to be enough time. That's gutting. Have we lost anyone? No. So that's it. That's our squad done for the rest of the season then. So we've brought in James Madison for a bit more cover and a new centre-half I've linked up with before for a year in Dortmund. Yep, yeah, I'm, I'm pleased with that. I'm, I'm pleased. Probably as good as I possibly realistically could have hoped for. And we're just about to see the draw for the FA Cup. Last 16. That's a tough one. That's a tough one. They knocked out Man City in the Carabao Cup this year. I'm not going to lie, I was hoping for the posh, no offence, but uh, Saint, that's a tough one. Saints away. They're going for a giant killing again, or a cup set at least. Right, let's do a couple more, then we'll leave it there. Following game, Crystal Palace on where a win will take us into third. But we're still clinging on to fourth on goal difference, so it's so incredibly tight, man. We've got to win these games, no exception. So tight in that race for fourth, man, seriously. Oh, like, no doubt about it, City are already champions. You might as well put the engraving on the trophy now. They're too far clear. But, um, you know, literally from like second to sixth, seventh, it's, oh, it's so tight. It really is anyone's guess who's going to finish in second or fourth. Got to win that, mate. Got to win that one, him. And yes, well done. I need a teammate here. I can't do it myself. I mean, I'll try to, but hello, Nathan Ferguson. Round two. Is it round two? I think it is. Ah. Oh. I mean, it worked in the previous game against them. You can't blame them for trying it again. Let's go through that, though. It's a ball over the top. Finish. Ah! The draw is nowhere near good enough. No, we've got to win this. We have got to win this. No exceptions. That's a shot. Was that, was that to me? I said this before. Like, you, you know a pass is bad when you can't tell who the intended recipient of it was. Was that to me? Because if it was, it was well off the mark, Jed. Good save, Castells. I reckon someone's going to win this in the second half. Could go either way. Well, anyway, mate. Forward we go. Oh, that's a brilliant time ball. Back post if you can. That's mine. Ah. Oh. Finish it. Yes! Woo! Bit of a scuff, but they all count. They all count. Well, the teammates are behind Conte, so I suppose I am as well. Hang on. Hang on, is the gaffer moving the centre off? I, I've been moving the centre off. He's put me at centre back. Okay. Alright. First time in my career doing this. 
Ball playing centre half, okay. Well, this is a new one. Um, don't really know why I'll be moved here, but you know what? I, to be fair, I think I can do this. I reckon I've got terrible defensive stats, but I think I'll be all right here, you know? Well, this is my first real test. Oh, mate, I can't play centre half. Oh, yes, I can. Yes, I can. Now, give me ball. Give me ball. Look, I'm going to try here, 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 here. Oh, my God. Conte is a genius. Am I still playing centre back? <laughs> what is Conte doing? Oh my god! Oh god! I I don't even know if I'm still supposed to be playing centre off. I think I am. That's mine again. <laughs> yes. Just give it here, and I'm just gonna dribble out the clock, mate. I am dribbling out the clock. I'm having it. Spurs are going to win. And I've helped us close it out of the back. Well, that was an interesting tactical switch by Antonio. But it worked. Spurs win. Free on the trot in all competitions. Well, that was strange. Since your skills are growing, your weekly wages should follow. It's not just my skills that are growing. It's my list of positions as well. Up to 230k a week now. You'd love to see it. That yacht is the last thing on my shopping list. And uh, I've still got quite a long way to go. We're getting it. I can't believe the gap that we sent her off. I mean, we know Inafio's down. Is someone else? No. Why, why did he do that? Why would he play me at centre-back? Right, final game. Struggling Forest away in what is still such a tight race for a Champions League spot. I am starting striker, by the way. But midway through, don't be surprised if I'm in the back five again. I enjoyed that, to be fair. That was fun. Crazy tight between second and fifth right now. Seriously, that that to me is going to be the gap between now and the end of the season. I feel these teams here. Aston Villa could still make it. But uh, yeah, I, I think personally. Oh, what a layoff. Oh, composure. Oh, and I cocked it. Was that a pen? Oh, that's a lucky pen, but I'll have it. That's a lucky pen. That's never a pen, that. Nah. That is never, ever a pen. But do you know how many times I get stung that way? I'm going to take it. Right, question is... Now that I've maxed out my penalties, can I keep my composure as well? From 12 yards. Oh, look how slow that is. The answer is yes. <sighs> okay. Alright. Early lead. Bit lucky, but we'll have it. Yep, right. Oh, bit fancy, but... Look cool. Jed. Kone. Oh, Joe Worrell came in there. Finish that. Oh, hello, Joe. Hello, where are you? Hello. I I can't seem to dribble. Oh, there we go. Hello, hello. <laughs> it's a clean challenge, that Joe. But uh, ball's still enough in the back of your net, mate. You left a little bit on me there, Joe Worrell. That's why I was a bit frustrated with that. It was a fair challenge, but... Uh, yeah, came in strong. Anyway, 34 minutes in, leading by two, and as things stand, I don't want to jinx it, but Spurs are finally getting back to good form. I tell you, this is a physical game. This is very physical. Oh, man running through. Can I pick him out? Yes, I can. Oh, brilliant. Jed, take it yourself, mate. Oh, well, yeah, what, worth a go, mate. Worth a go. He saw the headlines after the time he spent here. Oh, we should be home and dry by now. That's mine. Another dig. Oh, Joe. Oh, it's a bit of... Oh. <laughs> Listen, you can make this game a lot more fun if you really get into it, I'm telling you. <laughs> here we go, boys. Here we go. Oh, golden chance here. Golden chance. I'll have that. This is mine. Oh, yeah. Well, we know the title dreams have gone, but top four still very much alive. Finally back in form. Four straight wins. I don't think I'll be moving the centre half in this game, but it's all right. I don't think I'll need to. We're leading by three. And this could be four. Finish that, mate. First time. Oh, rocket. Because of how tight it is in the table, it might well come out of goal difference. So if that's the case... We've got to win these games big. Zalewski makes it four, and this is a bit of a shit-out celebration. We'll take it.
James Madison's come on for his Spurs debut as well. Not that he's going to be able to impact the game much, leading by four. Just a few minutes to go, but um, even so. Tell me and Joe Warren in this game had a real battle, you know. It's been very, very uh, aggressive between the two of us. These are the games that I said it before, man. Like, 15 plus DLC, eh? I, lo I love some words between me and Joe at the final whistle, you know. It was so much at stake for both teams. I've won this individual duel. No one's going to deny that. But I love some words. Even calling me a diver, winning the pen. Me saying I'll see it. Well, we won't see you next year, mate, because you'll be in the championship. I'd, lo I'd love some words. That'll be so fun. And, oh, I think we just given Madison his first goal as well. Literally just got off the bench, and he's got his first. Lovely stuff. Without a shadow of a doubt, one of my best performances of the season. That absolutely dominated from start to finish. Big win, big loss for Forrest, but most importantly, big win for us. We'll stay in the top four to close out the episode. Didn't need to play centre half. I had Joe Worrell's number on the other end. Hello, Joe Worrell's jogging after me. Oh, he wants a bit. <laughs> Right now, that's going to do it. So, big thank you for watching today's episode of my player. If you enjoyed it, then please do drop a like. Much love to you all. Have a fantastic day. And I'll see you for the next episode featuring hopefully both legs of Champions League last 16. I'll try and squeeze them both in. Definitely the FA Cup last 16 against Southampton, though. And a massive game in the Premier League at home to Manchester United in the race for top four. Have a great day. Much love. And I'll see you for the next episode of my player. Possibly make or break for the season very soon.